I want to share a thought with you tonight. Uh, so, the Wayback Machine, there was a Roman philosopher by the name of Cicero. It's just fun to say. Everybody say Cicero. <laughs> See, that's fun, right? It's a good word. All right, so Cicero had this to say, which I really like this a lot. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but it's the parent of all the others. So what is gratitude? Well, gratitude is that thing uh, that happens when you say thank you and you really, really mean it, right? It's like it's, it has emotion to it. You can, you can really feel it. And when you say thank you, in whatever way you say it, the other person knows that you really, really mean it, right? And in that moment, everyone experiences uh, gratitude. So I want, to share, I want to share a piece of scripture with us tonight. It goes like this. God's loyal love couldn't have run out. His merciful love couldn't have dried up. They are created new every morning. How great your faithfulness. I'm sticking with God. I say it over and over. He's all I got left. It's a verse from Lamentations. I want to read that again. God's loyal love couldn't have run out. His merciful love couldn't have dried up. They're created new every morning. How great your faithfulness. I'm sticking with God. I'll say it over and over. He's all I've got left. So I want to tell you a story about uh, uh, two friends, two new friends, uh, Juan Alberto and uh, Loida. And so uh, they're friends of friends. I've met them. They're from uh, today, actually, the first day that, I, that I've met them. I've, I've heard about them. I've known about them because we have mutual friends uh, who, uh, who work down in Guatemala. And so Juan Alberto is uh, here in Houston because he had to get some really important surgery. 20 years ago, he was hit by a bus. He was walking across the street uh, in Antigua, Guatemala, and he was hit by a bus. And because of the injuries he sustained 20 years ago, he lost his uh, right leg, and then his left knee was super messed up. Uh, and so they kind of put that back together for a while. 10 years ago, so 20 years ago he was hit by the bus. 10 years ago they did a knee replacement on him, uh, but he got super infected, and he's not been able to walk for the last 10 years. He's been in a wheelchair, right? So uh, they brought him, he, came, he and his wife came to the States because the doctor said, uh, I'm going to be able to do the surgery for you that you need so that we can repair that left leg so you can walk again, right? So he works in a print shop in Antigua, but he's been in a wheelchair for 10 years. So he and his wife are here, and I met them today because of these friends of friends, and they couldn't be just more gracious, more wonderful people. But the reason I tell you this story is because for 20 years, for 20 years, he's been saying this. God's loyal love couldn't have run out. His merciful love couldn't have dried up because they're created new every morning. How great your faithfulness. I'm sticking with God. He's all I've got left. So whenever I think I may be losing hope, I'm going to think of Juan Alberto because for 20 years he has remained faithful and hopeful. For 20 years he's prayed for an opportunity to be uh, upright again and to walk again. That is faithfulness. And he is the picture of thankfulness and gratitude. So here he is right here. So this is a really terrible selfie I took this afternoon right here. But that's, uh, that's Juan Alberto and, and Lolita. Um, gracious, faithful people. Amen, amen.